Well, hello and uh, welcome to this week's uh, video blog, uh, Journey to Wholeness. This is uh, number 23. Um, this is uh, being recorded on um, the last day of April. Uh, so uh, the 28th of April is uh, the uh, sixth month anniversary of my medical moment uh, when I had a stroke. And it is the ninth uh, month anniversary of uh, my heart attack. I had a stint uh, and put in my body. Um, so it's kind of, you know, important to recognize the journey. Um, I've been asked by Nan Ross, the Dawson Media Officer, to uh, share some thoughts on gratefulness for the upcoming um, issue of Pathways, uh, the Episcopal Diocese of Atlanta uh, quarterly magazine. So the last two days I've been taking notes and writing, so uh, I've written some things down which I want to share and speak to uh, and as a kind of work in progress. So it's uh, unpolished, but uh, I'm starting to kind of put into words um, uh, my lived experience uh, in particular uh, in the journey. So, um, so I want to share with you in what ways I've experienced God's presence and God's grace in this uh, journey. Uh, it is a journey I'm in and have not completed. And it is a journey many uh, in life, my wife Beverly, the people of uh, St. Mark of Angels, the people of uh, St. Bart's, uh, others within the Diocese of Atlanta, friends who are not uh, within our tradition, as well as I've got uh, colleagues uh, in other parts of the United States and in Australia and UK. So um, that's what I notice. And so uh, my first thing I would have to claim is my that I'm grateful that I do have many companions on this journey and um, and, uh, and uh, I believe that we together it is a journey of all of us um, I looked at the, the, the distribution at least on my emails when I send out the links for the video blog uh, and I've got about 96 uh, people I send it to uh, each uh, blog and then within our parish, we've got 300 people in the parish, and other people see it through the uh, the Dawson webpage as well as um, the Paris uh, Facebook page. So um, I would say it is a journey of us, not my journey. Uh, it's our journey, and um, and so that's what we do. And secondly, I would say that uh, uh, I'm grateful. Um, that uh, it is a journey that we make together that it is into God's future. Uh, not my future in particular, but a journey into God's future. We're therefore, it's, uh, it's not known. It, it is kind of a mystery, the journey. Now, I cannot know when the journey will end, but I'm certain where I, when you will end up. It therefore, in God. Uh, how we get there is up to us. And this important uh, way, I think, to live is to accept the responsibility of being on a journey and it, that each day the journey can go left or right, using the metaphor of travelling. We go up and down, you know. It's a bit, we, we have the opportunity to make many decisions on how to go on a journey. And so for me, uh, when I think back over the last nine months. I have moments and uh, fleeting thoughts and fragments of memories that arise um, to my consciousness. Um, uh, too many to name or to uh, share, but nevertheless uh, I note some in um, gratefulness. Um, I would have to say that my thoughts about my experience of gratefulness is strongly influenced by the writings of a uh, uh, Benedictine writer bunk called Brother Stendhal Rast and he wrote a book called Gratefulness, The Heart of Prayer I think it came out in the early 80s but I got my copy like 85 I think and uh, it has been the, the bedrock uh, a foundational text which helps me to understand how to live 
their grateful life. How to be with other people where gratefulness is the essence. Uh, how to be grateful for my body, uh, whatever the circumstances uh, that, that caught in my being. Over the years, uh, Beverly and I, we don't have children. We've been, I, been unable to have children. Uh, so where I am infertile, we, I'm diabetic, I've had a heart attack, I've had a stroke. I mean, one could say, oh, you poor bugger, you know. But, uh, but I have to say, uh, my life is, it lived on the bedrock of gratefulness. And as an orientation, what to think, uh, as other people have commented on, like, how have I been able to live <laughs> through this? And I said, well, for me, it's kind of more simple, you know, like, I'm grateful. Uh, and that's okay. Um, so it's a great book. Uh, I highly commend it to you. I invite you to discover his writings. Um, I believe that uh, we are to be grateful all the time. And so therefore, um, gratefulness for me is an active, uh, conscious, lived manner or an intentional spiritual life. Um, we are to be grateful and we have to do being grateful as well. We have to be it as a core being, but uh, we do it. We, we do things for ourselves. We are to do things for others, which in of themselves are essentially acts of gratefulness, which is a verb. So uh, being grateful it's not just, oh, I'm so grateful, but, you know, he gave me a nice cake on my birthday. You know, that's nice. Uh, but uh, that would be to um, trivialize uh, the disposition of a you know, grateful human being made in the image and likeness of God. Therefore, God is grateful, and uh, Jesus is grateful, and the Holy Spirit is grateful. So uh, it shapes us. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, lived experience is how... Uh, it is uh, it is the interplay of uh, people in my life, uh, places uh, I've been to, and the events. So for me, you know, uh, the people in my life through the heart attack and the stroke, uh, my friends with Tisha and Megan and uh, Warden Sue and uh, Aaron and uh, Beverly and the people at St. Bart's and many people like, like stacks of cars that come in the mail. All these persons who have been part of the events such as a medical event, being in hospital as a place, these interplay with one another. Uh, being in therapy, going to speech therapy, OT therapy, uh, uh, physical therapy, acupuncture, there are many places that I've gone to during the week, Monday to Friday, as part of the healing. It's part of the journey. And so it's an interplay, interplay of all of that which is the crucible in which I get to be generous to other people as opposed to, oh, poor me, I've, I've had these horrible things and you need to help me and you need to do that. And you, you know, we have to um, resist the temptation um, to be grateful. Uh, so we resist the temptation to do the other thing. Um, so therefore, um, um, gratefulness, uh, given the context of this week, is really, I think, uh, is uh, living Easter. It's, uh, it, but it's, it's an ongoing living of Easter in the ordinariness of our life. And in our view, is a medical uh, moment like a heart attack and a stroke is actually ordinary because lots of people have heart attacks and strokes. And so... Uh, Life is a continuation rather than a distraction, and therefore we have to live life, and I think this is the call to gratefulness, to live in the here and now. Uh, the Holy Spirit is here, uh, uh, God is here, and therefore I'm grateful um, that, that they're here, the Trinity is here. I'm grateful my wife is here, I'm grateful that uh, my parish relationships are here. And so, therefore, the journey is great. Gratefulness, in this understanding, is about living in the here and now as distinct from the experience of lived ungratefulness. And uh, with that, I mean ungratefulness 
is a manifestation of living not here and not now. Um, some people, ungratefulness is, is manifest by uh, living in the past. It's as if their spiritual life is frozen in time. Something back there and then. Somebody did something, they failed to get a job, and they're ungrateful. Uh, but gratefulness is not about life frozen. It is about the flowing life. It's the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God flowing through us as an ever-present activity and therefore an ever-present opportunity to when I get up in the morning, I say my prayers to God and thank God that I'm alive and then at the end of the night I commend my life to God who um, helps me to live out my own particular gratefulness. So I hope that you too can uh, take the morning and the night as moments to um, be grateful. Uh, for the people, the places, the events of your life and uh, live life in the here and now which is always in the presence of God. Thank you. God bless. Live well. Live strong. Live long.